Hi everyone and welcome back to the workshop. Today is going to be super epic because we are going to turn this piece of stock into these two plasma upstands. And what makes this even more exciting for me is the fact that this will be my first commercial job on the Exec 8 since I got it. Now this is not a very complicated job. It's a couple of profile cuts, slots and pockets, holes that I'm going to drill as well as a few that I'm going to bore. But what I really want to achieve here is to see how the machine performs and so I can set new baselines when it comes to toolpath strategies and tooling strategies. Now I used to make this on the symbiosis mill and I could make two at a time. And what I would really like to achieve is to be able to make six at the same time on the exec. But before I commit the big piece of stock to the machine and to that specific process, I would first like to see how it perform and then adapt my toolpath strategies so it can cater for this specific machine. Now, we're only going to be using a 10 mm 8 mm 6, a few drills and a V bit at the end to make the actual chamfers. So, as I said, it's not anything complicated. And for that reason, I'm not going to talk during the video. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll show you the machining, but at the end, at the conclusion, I will talk about the whole process, what I think, where I think I can improve, um, and the way forward. So, the next time you will see me is at the very end. Thank you.
So as I said earlier in the video, this is basically just a recap to how the job went, where I think I can make improvements in future using the machine with aluminium. And then just a general overview of what I think about the Exec 8 as a solution for machining aluminium. Now I think this video actually has grounds to stand on its own, but I think once I've used a little bit more, I will make a video just on that. So what I did is I exported the exact same toolpaths I will use in Symbiosis. I used that exact same file on the Exec 8. Now given that Symbiosis is a much more rigid machine than you have in Exec 8. So I wanted to compare the two machines and not like compare uh, which one is better because I, I know you can't do that. It's completely different machines. But I wanted to see how the Exec 8 performed right out of the blocks with no modifications to the toolpaths. And I was pleasantly surprised. I did make a change from the first two I made to the second two abstands I made. And that's not due to rigid rigidity or stiffness or couldn't cope. It's actually <laughs> due to spindle. And I, I didn't really see it coming, but I, I've learned something. Is in the symbiosis, I have a Technomoto QTC, it's a Technomoto QTC, but there's a 24,000 RPM spindle, and yet yeah, it's an 18,000 RPM spindle. Now, if we just forget talk for a moment, um, well, actually, I'll talk about it now that I'm covering that. Um, I found this model, or this specific spindle, in drilling the holes, it's obviously the torque curve down in the bottom range RPMs is, is much better than I would have on that one. It's such a pleasure to drill with. Um, there is no, the, uh, I can't really hear the RPMs fall significantly now. I only drilled with a 6.5 millimeter end um, drill bit. So, I mean, that might change a little as I step up. But I love the way. Um, this spindle handles the drilling and I might actually just go a lot more aggressive with this because I now know that the machine can handle it, the, in, the, the actual hardware and the spindle. So that was an interesting difference between the two. But the real difference for me was the fact that I would normally do my spring cut with a 0.1 millimeter step over left on the stock with a six millimeter single flute. Um, and I found that RPM to work extremely well because that is where the my single flute, the single flute that I'm using, just sounds so sweet. There is no chatter, there is no resonance. It, you can just hear it's just sweet machining. Um, here, I had to make changes to the spindle speed and to the RPMs in the spindle itself. Um, um, sorry, um, feed rate and spindle speed from the first two to the second two. And even at that, I can already see that the second the second two I made, there's a significant improvement in surface finish. And actually I can already see this um, being, getting close to what I used to get on symbiosis. Very few of those little ripples that you would get. Um, what I also like is the 45 degree finish on this is ripple free, it's very, very smooth. The surface finish, there is no trimming issues. Um, I, I am extremely um, surprised by how well this machine has coped making these two components. I can already, already see a significant difference between me making the first two and the second two. And that's how quick you learn, quickly you learn um, f jumping from the one to the other one. Um, I think this machine is well, well capable. I think for anyone who can't afford the VMC, this for me is a perfect solution. Um, I've used cheap machines in the past, CNC machines, which couldn't cope with aluminum. This uh, Executive 8 is, I, I have to say, I, I love it more and more every day. Um, so that's my thought on this. I really, really enjoy you having you with me on this journey, as I said many times before. I really appreciate your time watching this video, um, as I mentioned as well before, you know, things can only get better. You learn as you go along, as you do with machines. We can never stop trying. We can never stop moving forward. And that's the thought I want to leave with you. Always move forward, never look back. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.